We begin tonight with the scathing report on Horace Mann. It points to rampant sexual abuse at the exclusive school in the Bronx, enabled by a culture of arrogance and secrecy and acts of cowardice and denial. CBS 2's Lou Young has been digging through the details of the Horace Mann report. In my view, it was for long periods of time a nest of pedophiles. A damning verdict today from a former judge and prosecutor hired by graduates of the elite Horace Mann School to help write a massive report into sexual abuse there. It's the story we first told you about three years ago. One of my close friends uh, said I was raped by a teacher. The school where children of the rich and sometimes famous come to be groomed for greatness at the current cost of $43,000 a year was seemingly buried in allegations at the time, but the lengthy report just released by the Horace Mann Action Coalition says it's even worse than originally feared. About four decades, over 60 some odd young mostly boys but a few girls were victimized and they had no redress this is a lifelong traumatic crime and it was treated without any real concern by this school the report says abusers included coaches and teachers of both sexes a dean heads of departments a headmaster and even a head of the guidance department i now know of two cases where students were being abused by one teacher and were summoned to see the direct the, the chair of the guidance department and the chair of the guidance department proceeded to sexually violate them in that meeting. We all knew there were certain teachers who had a reputation for being a little more hands-on with the students. When it would have been possible to prosecute the crimes, we're told the school actively discouraged complaining victims. Over the decades since there have been suicides, lots of substance abuse, and lately, since the statute of limitations has run out, cash settlement with victims. But the effort to keep things quiet has never relented. Critics say Horace Mann remains firmly focused on its public image to the exclusion of everything else. The problem is that some of the best teachers were also allowed to flourish as pedophiles. The school has a child abuse section on its website inviting former students to contact the administration with any concerns about physical treatment they may have experienced. Our inquiries to the school today were referred to the headmaster's office where the person who answered the phone said no comment and hung up. We're in Riverdale, the Bronx, Lou Young, CBS 2 News.